Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Altar. Wake up to this altar every day. Have a daily devotion. After receiving the prayers, listening to the messages or the testimonies, then pray more on your own. Prophesy over the day. Tell the day, circumstances, and situations around you how you want them to go for you. Do not allow circumstances and situations to force themselves on you. Anoint yourself as well. Welcome also to Wednesday, the 23rd day in August 2023. Please open your hand and heart to receive and be responding with Amen. I receive it. God's favor and His power will arrange your things. Those good things you kept dreaming of and you kept seeing in your dream shall soon come to pass. The evil or the negative ones shall be separated from you by fire. Everyone that is held up in any type of bondage, be released now. Whatever power or force holding you or any of your loved ones to ransom to bondage must break away now, must lose their holds on you right now. Who is this? You are the one ordained by God to lift up your family, to liberate your family from poverty, from squalor, from obscurity, from struggle. You are the Joseph, the Samuel, the Esther, and the Deborah for your family. God will use you to help liberate your family. Receive the anointing for that now. Ladies, I mean wives, that have been waiting for the foot of the womb for upward of five years, five years and above, your time of conception has finally come. Do this. Get into your room when you have time. Lock the door. Strip yourself naked. Anoint your navel. Hold your tummy. Pray this a message back as I pray for you. Receive power to conceive. I prophesy to your reproductive system and that of your husband. Be spiritually energized now. What is medically wrong with you is held by supernaturally cancelled. What may be spiritually wrong is also removed. You are made fit to conceive now. Oh yes, God will start with you with a set of twins because of the lateness. Now put a battle seed behind these prayers as much as you can. And as soon as you take in, as soon as you miss your period, let us know for more prayers. And keep sowing the battle seed monthly until you deliver successfully. You will carry your pregnancy to time. You will deliver in peace in the name of Jesus. How the grace for speed. I pray for all listeners. Receive grace for divine speed. Who is this? Your sales level, your result level has been too slow. I pro prophesy. Receive power for divine motion. No more crawlings and no more delays. Result. Great result in life are controlled by mysteries. Yes, mysteries. Everybody do this now. Place your hand on yourself. I prophesy the mysterious power for wealth. Mysterious power for riches, for progress and profit and for greatness. Mysterious power for breakthrough in business, in career, in ministry. Receive such now. I say you should enter your family, enter your business, enter your ministry now. Extra odd, mysterious power for extraordinary result. Everybody receive it now. Say amen. I receive it three times. Yes. Watch your result level from now on. It has changed very seriously. August 23 celebrants, your prayers be blessed. Oh, be divinely covered. Your bad day is blessed. You will lead to a very good old age in prosperity, good health, and power. Right, listeners? First issue for teaching and counseling today. Good day, Pastor. I am a man and will be 40 years by November. I have never been in any relationship before because we were raised to be afraid of relationship and marriage. The only person that broke out of this is my elder sister and she is married with two kids. The other three of us are still unmarried and not enthusiastic about marriage. Twice I tried to get into relationship but each time a pastor praying with my mom will always reveal that I should stay away from relationship and I will see the eagerness on my mom's face to obey. Now she's praying hard for us to get married, but we have lost enthusiasm. What should I and the others do, sir? Wow. 
this right top is pretty long, but I took time to read it out because I want to teach a lesson here. And I want parents and children to listen. You and your siblings were raised to be afraid of relationship. This is prevalent among parents. Some parents who think they are protective of their children by denying them to socialize and mix freely with their peers in their growing up years, especially with the opposite sex. I have said this one repeatedly. If you shut your kids in or shut them out, if you disallow them to mix with their peers ah, ah, and you prevent them because you want to prevent them from being sexually abused, you are wrong. The right thing to do for kids when they are growing up is to give them proper sex education. There are good books to buy for them and take them through their sexuality yourself. Tell them everything from infancy, from age three up. Give them good sexual education. Tell them, show them all the organs in the body and call them by name. This is penis, this is vagina, this is breast, this is bum bum. What they are for, why God put them there, the do's and the don'ts, the result of misuse. Let no one touch you here or here. Report to me immediately if anybody is touching you here or there. Such kids, 99.9% of times, will never be, we never fall for predators. But to the African mind, especially the Nigerian mind, what I just said now is a taboo. But it is the right thing. These children are to grow up and pick their married partners from among the friends which will they grow up. But you deny them to socialize with their peers. This is why most many children, especially daughters, are left behind. Grow old, no relationship, no suitor. And then you start praying, praying hard when you have already set them back. And then to be teleguided by a pastor or prophet, a prophet praying for mom, teleguiding her. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay away from such pastors and prophets. I keep shouting here. Know God yourself. Know the word of God also. Every one of us has access to God equally. Be under a good church and connect to a balanced teaching pastor who shows you what the Bible says rather than seeing visions for you. There are no other intermediaries between us and God except Jesus Christ our Lord. The only other person we need is a teaching pastor according to Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 where I will keep teaching the correct balance truth here let those who we hear listen. As for you and your other siblings, pick up interest back. I know a lot of damage has been done to your psyche uh, by your loving and caring, but superstitious and highly traditional parents or mother. Please take your destiny in your hand. Recreate your mind. Now, mom's life is almost done. Mom is getting close to departure. You need to deliver yourself from the past wrong programming. God will see you through. At 40, you are still okay. Work on yourself. Look for somebody you can flow with and marry. Say the same to your other siblings. Let them hear this message. Next, good day, sir. I got cash gift and paid my tithe on it, after which I invested the remaining 90% in a business. Am I to pay the tithe on the business as well? I wait for your response. Wow, oh no, you did the right thing by paying tight on the gift. It is the profit, net profit, when you start running the business that you now pay tight on. The net profit, not from the original 90% after the first tight, no. Next, good morning, TPGF. Sir, is it still advisable for a wedding to be conducted after a couple to be uh, after a, a couple to be notice that they have made a mistake of pregnancy, though they have told their parents an introduction has been com- conducted already. Wow, pregnancy does not come by mistake. They went into premarital sex intentionally and deliberately, which is wrong. Hebrews 13 verse 4 says clearly, marriage should be made honorable and the bed should not be defied. Having said that, it is even good that they did not go for abortion, which would have been like which would have been killing the unborn baby. 
Well, they should go ahead and be properly married or wedded. There are some churches, especially Pentecostal churches, that will not conduct wedding for couples to be that are already pregnant. But some churches don't care. They could go to registry and legalize their union. Singles, it is better to have patience, abstain till you are properly married. Say no to carnality and put self-control on yourself. We will build on this tomorrow. Listeners, are you getting blessed? Are these teachings adding to you? Please let me know. Rebroadcast it to all on your counter and please do so daily. As I announced yesterday, today is the prayer mountain in our Abuja Center, 12 to 2 p.m. at Living Spring Chapel, Kado Life Camp, after the fish market. Telephone numbers for more instruction and direction, 0806-133-2800. Please be there. Tomorrow is the prayer mountain service at Ikeja, Lagos. So all TPGF members and listeners in and around Lagos, leave your home early on time tomorrow to beat the traffic. 7 to 9 a.m. is the first service. 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. is the second service. Prayer focus this week on Prayer Mountain is anointing against miscarriage, against abortive moves, near success syndrome, breakdown at the point of breakthrough, come to be taught, to be prayed for, and to be anointed. Anointed mantle will be given out free for praying and doing miracle. Come and collect your own. The same prayer mountain services shall be conducted tomorrow simultaneously at Dominion City Ibadan, Koloba Abel Kota, Oshobo, Akure, Portacot, and New York. All TPGF members in all these cities, locate those centers and be there. Telephone numbers to call or send a chat message to for direction is Dupe on 0806-478-8392. Start calling and also start chatting now. Then, all in the diaspora, tomorrow's prayer mantle shall be live stream. Connect online. Finally, don't compromise on your tight, personal and corporate tightening. All businessmen and business women, all consultants, all traders, please put your business on tightening. Let your business pay tight. It will remove the vora from feasting on your business and it will make your business transgenerational. Your generation, your children will take it to their generation. Titan does wonders. Please do so. I prophesy to your life today. I bless everyone listening and complying. The grace of God will move you forward. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. TPGF Truly blessed. Tomorrow again, I will come your way. You are blessed in Jesus' name.